Hi, Baden Believers. I have a question for you today. What does music look like? Try for a second to imagine in your head what music would look like if you could see it. Did you imagine this? Or this? Or maybe this? For Vasily Kandinsky, music looked like this. Let's back up a little bit. Vasily Kandinsky was an artist who lived a long time ago in Russia. He didn't become an artist right away, though. First, he became a lawyer and a teacher, but he had two experiences that made him fall in love with art. One was seeing an exhibition of Claude Monet's art. He saw one of Monet's paintings of haystacks, but he couldn't tell what it was at first. Even though he didn't know what it was, he loved it. He loved the colors, and he was amazed that a painting could be so memorable even when he didn't know what it represented. The other experience that made him want to become an artist was when he went to an opera and the music made him see colors and lines. Vasily probably had a condition that we now call synesthesia. When someone has synesthesia, it means their senses can kind of get mixed up. One sense can activate another sense. So seeing a shape or a letter might make someone think of a taste or a smell. For Kandinsky, colors made him hear sounds and sounds made him see colors. He said that each color sounded like a different musical instrument. For example, he said light blue sounded like a flute and green sounded like a violin. White was a pause. One of the things Kandinsky loved about music was that if music doesn't have words, you get to imagine what the music is about. You don't have to know what the musician was thinking for music to make you feel feelings or for music to remind you of other things. Kandinsky wanted to make paintings that were that way as well, so he made abstract paintings. Abstract paintings don't look the way things look like in real life. But even though you can't tell what the artist was thinking about, you can imagine for yourself what the painting is about. You can look for a story in the shapes, emotions in the lines, and even sounds in the colors. Even in an abstract painting, you might spot things that you recognize. Can you see a face in this painting? What about a horse in this painting? Kandinsky painted many pictures inspired by music. This painting was inspired by a concert Kandinsky went to. The black shape is the piano and the circles are the audience. Some of his paintings remind me of loud, fast music racing across the canvas. And some paintings remind me of slow music just floating by. For your project, I would love to see what you think music looks like. Pick any kind of music you want and any art supplies you want. Listen to your music and see what it makes you think of. It might help to close your eyes while you listen. I can't wait to see what you'll create. One more fun fact about Kandinsky. He was friends with the artist Paul Clay. You might remember learning about Paul Clay in the spring. Clay was an artist who was also inspired by music. The music in this video is from the opera that inspired Kandinsky to become an artist.